In this video, I'm going to go over how to find the point where a line intersects a plane. So here I have this line and plane. So first I'm going to join them together. Just using the join command. So I can see kind of where they cross. So there's two different ways to do this. The first is using the auxiliary view method for which I need to find an edge view of the plane. So in order to find the edge view of the plane, I want to find a true length line. So if this line is parallel to the folding line, that means in the next view here, this line is true length. So I'll just give it a thing so that way I know what it is. So now if I change my UCS to object of that true length line and draw my folding plane line, draw some lines to connect things. So if I project from here this way, this is going to give me both this point and that point on this projector. And then if I project that line out, like that. So now if I offset from the point to here, which is that vertex there, bring it out, trim it off. And then I can see that these two points, because that line is parallel, it's going to be the same distance. So if I offset from there to the folding line, folding line out, there is my uh, edge view of that plane. So the next thing I want to do is I want to project out my line. So I'll do the same thing. So project my line, but this time I'm just going to go to the to the folding plane. So now when I instead of doing offset, I'm going to use lengthen. So lengthen I'm going to use the delta option. So from this point to this point, and that's that same edge. Delta again. From that point to that point, bring that out. Now I can get where that line is. So by using the lengthen command instead of offset, it saves some trimming and, and things. So I get my point of intersection here, right where those two cross. So I can bring that point back to where it hits there, change my UCS from that point up. And usually we indicate the point of intersection by drawing a little circle. So I'll just do a circle and like that. And we'll just put that on the plane layer. There we go. So now I have the point of intersection. Now I need to find my visibility of which side is, uh, of the line is above and, and below because part of that line is going to be hidden. So to do that, I project from this corner where the apparent intersection of the, the line and the edge is. And I'll bring it up and I hit the plane first. So that means that the plane is on top down here. So if the plane's on top here, it means that this piece of the line is hidden. So I'm going to go in and use my break at one point, break there, break it there, do it again, and break at the center. Oops. Might as well just draw a new line. And then make that hidden. So that I can do the same thing up here. Go from this corner down, I hit the line first. That tells me the line is on top on this side. And so it means it should be underneath on this side, but let's just make sure. And yep, it does hit that edge first, so we know that this part is the part that's hidden. So if I do break, and I'll just do the um, do that one. I can just bring that back to the center. Draw in a new line there. And that part is hidden. So that's the auxiliary view method. Um, I'm just going to copy those up again. So I'm just going to repeat. So 
this thing. Oops, should we grab the full line? So just, I'll just copy previous, grab the folding line also this time. Oh, I forgot that line. It was this one I forgot. Use that, use that, bring it up. All right. <clears throat> so now what I'll do is, again, I'll join it. Yeah, I'll, yeah. No, I'll just leave it where it is. Um, so the, there's also the two view method. So if I take where it looks like the apparent intersection there and there, so if I take this apparent intersection and bring it down to the edge of the plane, then I take this apparent intersection and bring it down to the edge of the plane, and then I connect those lines, you see they cross right at the, the, the piercing point. So I could do that also. So I could use the two view method, use the the edge I want to find where it crosses the plane, of where the apparent intersections are, connect them, and I get that. So that's the two view method. Either way gives me the same result. Um, it's just how many extra views do I want to do? So hope this helps, and see you next video.